Welcome everyone to this evening. And um, Daimala earlier, before we meditated, said she felt it was a kind of special evening and it feels special to me actually. Um, from a personal point of view, it's quite a special evening in that uh, two of my worlds have come together in a very lovely way this evening. And uh, this is, um, let's just wait for them to get settled because you're getting distracted. Hmm? You okay? Yeah, two of my worlds have come together in a very lovely way. Uh, Breathworks and the Manchester Buddhist Centre. And this has been uh, represented beautifully this evening by the fact that I'm called Two Names. <laughs> and uh, when I'm running classes with this on here at the Buddhist Centre, I'm known as Ratnagoon, and that's my Buddhist name. And I, I don't think many of you on this recovery course knew that. They only know me as Gary. I, I was thinking today, oh, that might be a bit of a problem. What am I going to be called? So I'm going to be called Ratnaguna and Gary. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, so the evening really is a celebration. Um, and actually, it's the third celebration of uh, a course that we did here in this very room, actually, um, mainly for people in recovery from uh, drug and alcohol addiction. But not only that, um, uh, the majority of people uh, on the course um, came from that background, but we had two carers, and I think the two carers, Patricia and Anne, you, you come from Bolton, is that right? Sure. And um, Majid, Majid, who's uh, a refugee from Iran, I believe. Yes. Uh, it was a fairly large course uh, held in this room. Um, it was actually an eight week course, but we did it, it slightly differently. We did it um, instead of eight two and a half hour classes. We did four five hour classes. Or actually we did eight two and a half hour classes, but we did one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then two weeks later we did one in the morning. So we spent the whole day here, four, four days. And it was quite um, intense really, but not in a heavy way. It was intense in a really very delightful way. Um, I, st I don't know if any of you are here at the centre well, one of those Tuesdays, but uh, if you were here, you'd have known that uh, something was going on because the buzz was quite remarkable. Uh, the first Tuesday I came, got here in the morning ready, met with Ruth. We were, we were the first ones here, Ruth and I. I'll introduce you to Ruth in a moment. Had a quick conflower and then people began to arrive and the energy, whoa, just, it was amazing actually. And it was a really um, excited energy. People were very, very pleased to see each other. A lot of people knew each other, so there's like a bit of a get together. But also there's a, a great excitement in the air. Um, and the first class I, I was, I'd never run a course for people in recovery before. So I didn't quite know how it was gonna be, but it was just fantastic actually. It was one of the uh, best teaching experiences I've ever had, I must say. I've had a number of really good teaching experiences and I've been teaching for a long time, 35 years. Uh, but this was really one of the highlights for me, this teaching experience. So I'm really, really pleased to see you all again, actually. Um, in a moment, I'll introduce some people to you. Um, I was gonna do something before that, but it's gone out of my head. I'll do it afterwards. Let me just introduce a few people to you. Before I, before I introduce people who are on the course, uh, I want to introduce you to Ginny. Ginny uh, was, used to come along to the Buddhist Centre before we moved here, actually, when we were in Withington and then Chalton many, many years ago. Uh, she was a great friend of ours. She used to come weekly. Um, her husband, too, used to come to classes, both of them. Got to know their sons as well, the two sons. Grown up now, of course. <clears throat> And Ginny, I was just sitting next to Ginny, and uh, she said, you know, I haven't seen this room since it's been, it's been finished. And I said, oh, no. And she said, no. I, I said, so she said, the last time I was here, there was sand everywhere. And she told me that she was, she was one of the people who scraped the outside of the windows there uh, on scaffolding. So I think a round of applause is due here, isn't it, Ginny? <laughs> Very nice to see you again. Pema Chodron, wow. It's like 
It is, isn't it? <laughs> My goodness. Wow, I didn't know you'd written so many books. <laughs> Pema Chodron, great. Okay, I'd also like to introduce you to Ruth. Um, I don't know if Ruth's going to stand up and speak this evening, but uh, Ruth is... Um... You can move about five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you five minutes, yeah. Uh, Ruth um, was the, the brains behind the whole thing, really, uh, and Ruth is a real powerhouse. I'm really still, I must admit, I'm still not quite sure what Ruth's job is. She seems to do loads and loads of things. I know she works for the NHS. You still work for the NHS? The Department of Health. Department of Health, a different thing, you see? So I'm going to let Ruth tell you, tell you what she does and how this course came about in a moment. In a moment. Okay. Uh, and then uh, a little later on, uh, we're going to hear from some of the people who actually came to the course. Um, as I say, this is the third celebration. Uh, Ruth and Karen, Karen was the project manager. She can't be here this evening, unfortunately. Um, but... Um, we did the course, then we had uh, a celebration day, a whole day at the Whitworth Art Gallery, celebrating the event. Uh, speeches from all sorts of people, but also some of the people from the course spoke. And they spoke very movingly, actually. Um, it had some of us with a lump in our throat, men with a lump in their throat, and women had a few tears. Uh, and it was really, really a lovely um, event. And then there was another celebration um, at the uh, uh, two-yearly mindfulness conference at Bangor University. And Ruth got in a minibus, arranged a minibus, and got in a minibus with many of the people from the course, went up to um, Bangor, and they spoke there too at this uh, conference. Uh, unfortunately, neither event were people filmed or recorded. So this evening they're going to be filmed because we want to have it there for forever, really, for posterity. So um, I'm going to ask Ruth to just come and say a few words about your role in this and tell people what your job is as well, because I'm afraid I wasn't. I'll try. <laughs> 